Fantasy Bird, welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Today, we have a lot to get to, but first off, I wanted to deposit some of the ports we got in the last episode. A couple of Ringtail, a couple of Puddle, and a couple of Boom. So, it's not a ton, but it gets us started with a couple of things, and I think I also need to use whatever beats I have to top off these guys. Now, there's still a lot we have to do in terms of organizing some other things, so I might start working on that soon, but as you can see, this stuff is already topped off, which is pretty crazy. I wanted to get another one of these, you know, the transfer things I've been using, into the area over there. So we'll do that later in a, a few minutes. But then after that, I want to go back to um, Starlight Strand because I think there's more things to find there, more slimes to discover. On top of that, I'm hoping we can find a couple cu couple more puddle ports while we're out. I think we will, or puddle slimes. Because I feel like they've been in both biomes pretty easily. So we currently have some rock and angler. We have the angler topped out, but what about the rock? The rock is also topped out. So I don't think we really need these. We could just sell them, which both prices are up, I think. Well, this one's the same, this one's up. So, you know, I'll make some good money today, which I already had plenty. You know, we had over 8,000, so we'll be jumping up quite a lot in cash. Well, I say that, but we, we are at a little bit of a time limit. As you can see in the bottom right, it's 23, um, I guess, yeah, 23 hours. So I guess that means we have until the 24 hours, until it's a new day, then the market will change. So I probably just wanna focus the most on these guys, but we'll just try to get what we can. And every second is a minute in the Slime Rancher world, so the time goes by fast. So I'm just trying to do what I can by selling what I can. And if not anything else, you know, the, the money will just go down slightly. It's not the biggest deal in the world. But I'm just trying to make the most out of our time for now and just make a little extra cash by doing it. But there's plenty of other ports changing as time goes on. Uh, okay, we'll grab a little bit more. Grab that one too. And that way this thing can start collecting some more ports as well. Because right now, it's recently, it's been uh, topped out. We don't want that. That can sort of be a problem if there's just so many sitting around. So we'll collect some more. And we'll do this. So almost there. Almost got it all sold. Okay, so I just got here and the market has changed. So the money is down a little bit. Actually, it's up for the anglers. Okay, so, you know, a little bit less in one, a little bit more in the other. So. Not too big of a deal. So with that done, we just gotta keep organizing some stuff, make sure that everybody is set up for the day before we head out. So one thing I did notice is that we need a lot of the different jelly rock things. So if I take a look, I want to, you know, upgrade my, what was it? My health can be upgraded, I need more jelly soon. I want to make um, another refinery link, I need more jelly stone. So I think that's something we'll head out to do very soon, is just to try to get some more jelly stone. Um, I think it would be very important for a lot of things, but also a portable water tap might be good. That's why we're trying to put away a lot of ports and stuff. But we're slowly getting there. We have a lot more in different stuff, and that's gonna be really, really useful. But we even have enough, of course, soon enough to get the extra tank too. I need a little bit more ringtail ports and, and silky sand. The silky sand is gonna be the significantly more difficult thing out of those two. So lots of things to do. You can see how we're sort of keeping up with some of it. So I might just take one more peek in on the, uh, the new slimes that we got in the last episode, just to make sure we can, you know, get some things deposited. But I definitely, I need to get that jelly stone as soon as possible. That's definitely the big thing for now. But I can grab some of this, no problem. And we'll just deposit ah, that stuff right away. That's so scary when it does that. But as you can see, it's still feeding them. I saw it's 21 there. This one is entirely empty for now. And you know what? If they want a little bit extra. Just toss that over, a little chicken. Yeah, there's a lot of little chickens running around here. And it looks like, you know, the puddle slimes are doing pretty well, as far as I can tell. It's hard to sort of harvest these things and make the absolute most out of them, but I think that's just how some slimes are. And we'll just have to work with that. Okay, well, in the meantime, I have all this stuff. Let's do what we can with it right over here and deposit it. Then I have a message to read and then we're off to the Rainbow Valley so that I can find uh, more of the the slime rocks, whatever they're called. <laughs> there we go. But that's all loaded up, so that's gonna be some good stuff for later. So let's see who wants to talk to us over here. Gotta be something interesting. It's Victor. Oh, hello. I must tell you, I saw this item and it just screamed Beatrix. And now that's how I realized I'd accidentally hit it with the sen sentience ray. But don't worry, everything is fine and very normal now. <laughs> anyway, I thought you should have it. Enjoy. It is the red home portal. Whoa, okay, so we have another home portal we could use. Um, in the meantime, we also have Ogden Ortiz talking to us. Hola, Beatrix, good to see you. I do hope you've been taking care of yourself out there, taking time to fill your belly before your every new send into the unknown. Also, 
I understand that the plot has thickened like a good sauce and you've encountered some kind of mono monolithic structure out there on the far end of the island? Yeah, I guess so. Scary stuff, but then maybe my hunch is correct that all the strange flora out there is not natural. Something doesn't add up here, Beatrix. All the ruins we've discovered across the far, far range never have never looked as though they have harmed the environment in any way. Sure, we don't know their purpose or who built them, but the feeling I always had was that they had respect for this world. But maybe it happened anyway. Sometimes when you're out hiking, you step over a flower so as not to crush crush it only to step on another. Sometimes the only way for those flowers to keep growing is for you to have never been near them in the first place. But it's not all doom and gloom. Rainbow Island still seems to be thriving, for now. Nature can be about find a balance, but it's not a guarantee. Ah, look at me, getting preachy on you. Lo siento, Beatrix, I won't keep you. I don't know what you'll find beyond those walls, but I trust your boots in any garden. I know you'll do what's right. Good luck, Beatrix. All right then, so yeah, I think the big monolithic structure they're talking about is that last episode in the Ember Valley. We did find like a big thing over here and I needed to destroy a Largo to get through it. So that's all stuff we need to work on. I think we need to go on an episode where we just bust as many Largos as we can find because there's a lot of them, but our Gordas, you know what I mean. <laughs> but there's still just so much other stuff to explore, right? I mean, I would think, but at the same time, I feel like we're clearing these areas out quite well. I'm sure more will be added to the game inevitably because it's still early access, but for right now, we're not gonna worry about any of that. We just need more slime stuff. Now might also be a good time as I'm collecting some of this deep brine to try to find any kind of extra thing. So like if we might be able to stumble across, aha, here we go, um, some extra blueprints here on the uh, rainbow fields, that'd be great. So I got two more there. And I think I was in here before. I don't remember what I found now. Well, a couple of angry slimes. Yeah, another mysterious portal, but I don't know how to get this one to go, which might be the case that this one isn't added to the game yet. Maybe there actually isn't a way, but oh, look at this. A pod to open up. What will this one have? It will have the gold petal flowers. Lustrous and glittering, these flowers definitely aren't gold, but are beautiful nonetheless. Very cool. So the gold petal flowers, blueprint acquired these angry, angry slimes. But maybe there is some kind of puzzle I can figure out here, I'm not quite sure. We'll definitely have to keep our eye on this spot, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep looking. Can I please get up there? I don't know if I can. Let's let our energy restore, and we'll try again. Oh no, you don't. I know you're going to go right for me. There we go, now I'm up here. Just trying to see if there's anything I could have missed or you know can find now. But so far, the answer's looking like no. Okay, ooh, but there's a lot of brine over that way, so I just gotta keep searching. We'll, we'll, we'll discover more over time. That's sort of the nice thing is we've been so focused on other areas that now there's a ton spawning in around here. Sort of has given the area a chance to restore a little bit, and that's always nice. Even if we aren't finding many of the jellystone. I gotta get over there, though, for that other deep brine. We'll do that soon, but I wanna check in on this area, because it was spawning in here before, then it stopped and it started again. So it seems like there might be set places where they will spawn in, just not every time. And that's good to know. So that means I can try to memorize where some of them might actually start popping up a little more often. Okay, I'm gonna find two more pots over here. Might as well grab those. Okay, I'm sorry, but you did it to yourself. You did it to yourself. Wasn't there one over here? I thought I saw it. Maybe I got it. I don't know. Uh. That's okay, there's plenty of other stuff. And we already got a bunch of deep brine from that, which I do need more eventually, I'm sure, but I'm glad to get what I'm getting. And there's some more waiting for me over that way, so we're gonna make a big jump across here. Because yeah, this is where we had the one slime, the Gordo, explode so that we could get up here. And I see one and two. That's really good. So I'll definitely be getting those in just a moment, but I don't want to mess up my chance on getting some of these as well. So. We're at 18 deep rinds. I was not expecting to collect that many. So let's get up there really quickly. We can manage, yep, just like that. Where was it? Right here. Because really, it's just as many of these as I can find. That's the big focus at the moment. I wanna float across to this one and do more of the same. Got it. I don't think I dropped any, so it's more just about looking around for more. And on the bottom right, we can see we have seven out of 14 of the hidden pods. So there's still a lot more of those to find. I don't know if they'll be behind maybe some of the hidden walls or doors that we've sometimes run into. I haven't seen any of those in a while. Oh, here's one. 
just hanging out. I must have missed it before. Okay, well, there we go. Now we're over 11 of them, so that's actually really, really good. We're making some great progress. Oh, here's one pod. Just hanging out between the bushes, so that should be eight out of 14. And in this one, we get Overjoyed Statue. Blueprint acquired, the only thing potentially happier than a slime is an overjoyed statue of a slime. I definitely can agree with that. Okay, so. But there's another one right down there for the brine. And then another jelly thing right there, I think. I think, we'll, we'll find out. But right now, might as well take some of this. We're over halfway full for our inventory. Doesn't usually happen for the materials too often. So I think it was right over here, yep. We can grab this one. But yeah, it was one of these that we activated to open that thing up. And same thing for the other area. So maybe that third zone. If we could find something, it's just the question of where would it lead? Obviously not over here, but I guess maybe around here? Good question for sure, but right now we are just not gonna worry about it. I don't think there's too much more over this way I can grab. I'll poke around really quickly for some more potential jelly stones, but 13 of them is definitely not a bad take home for now. I'm not seeing too much sound. I don't wanna risk falling into the water either, so I might actually just use our teleport here and just drop off what we've got so far because I think we made some great progress and I just wanna make the most of that. So, you know, lots of uh, deep brines and lots of jelly slimers or jelly stone as well. So where am I at in total of things? I'm at 22, not too bad. But I think I probably just wanna head straight back out and try to find some more. If we can explore some of the other areas, like if we could go back to the Starlight Strand and find some extra stuff there, that might be good. I'm still trying to find the proper hunter slime. I've found, of course, the hunter plorts, but I've never seen the hunter slime itself. So there's gotta be a way to hunt that down. And maybe I could use, remember there's a little chicken thing? Maybe I need to get one of those. Or maybe I could just throw out a hen hen and it would chase that down, you never know. But there are things like that I definitely need to focus on and figure out. Oh, here's some more. I'm trying to explore what I can of this though to make the most of it. And also if we can find more pods, that's always good. Aha, and speaking of which, here's the pod. All right, so let's try this one. What do we get inside of here? The large pink bonsai, a lovely count or centerpiece to any garden. This arrangement evokes peace, calm, and the joy of pink slimes. Very nice. In this area, I feel like we don't go around too much, so I definitely just wanna, once again, explore. I don't think there's anything up there. Doesn't look like it. It can be hard to tell sometimes, and on top of that, I just don't remember where I have been and where I haven't been, you know? Oh, and here's another pod right out here in the uh, end of the ocean a little bit. Let's check this one out. This will have blueprint acquired rock fragments. Rock slimes are, or slimes get their spikes by rolling over fragments like these tiny shards. Interesting. Is there anything in there? I don't know if that's worth the risk. It really doesn't look like it, so. I don't think it's worth risking. You can look around everything else. Yeah, we've definitely been back here before. We got that one pod, and I do remember that. Okay, so, oh, here we go. I'll grab this really quickly. They might not enjoy that too much, but it's okay. I'm already gone. Okay, so we're back home. As you can see, I can make some of this with jelly soon, so I'll do that, and I think I'll bring this with me somewhere at some point, maybe to the Ember Valley. I mean, luckily, it's, it's easy to hold on to those. But then I have these two as well, which this one is much easier to build, actually, of all the materials for it, the blue home portal. I might as well make that somewhere. I don't know where exactly, but you know, we'll just save it up for now. With that being said, is there anything else I wanna put together? Right now, a lot of this stuff seems a bit expensive, but we can always save up and get some more of it eventually. Okay, yeah, I think, oh, this thing is what I was thinking of before. So I need more primordial oil for this one, the meat slime bee. I think that might be how we actually get the hunter slimes. Uh, but I think another way would just be sending out some hen hen. So as long as the rest of our stuff is feeling good, we could get two more puddle ports to build that little puddle thing, or whatever that's supposed to be, so that we can actually, you know, figure some of that stuff out. That'd be great. So we just have to run over this way really quickly. And I'm sure there'll be a couple more that have been made. So, you know, it's always good to check out. So how are all these guys? Are they hungry? Oh, they're doing fine. Whoa. All right, so yeah, I think we'll just, we're good to grab all of this and all that. And how are the briar hens growing along? 
It looks like, ooh, they're growing. All right then, so we can grab a couple and we need to make sure that this thing is harvesting the elders because as you can see, I have one of them. Okay, so that should be good. Keep the roostros in there and just get a couple more of the briars. There we go. So what I might end up do, doing here is, how many are left? Nine. So maybe I'll just call, toss in a couple and just wait for the sea hems to run out. There we go. Oh no, one of them went flying. That's not what I wanted. I wonder if we can find pods around here though. I don't think so, but it might be good to double check at some point. So what is up this way? It feels like you know, there's gotta be something. Not anything else, it's a nice view, but I feel like there'd be more things to discover on these little sections. But so far, it, it's pretty simple. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, we do have a log here. Accessing GG log. I sometimes used to bring my lunch here and stare at these colossal fossils, wondering what this world looked like when they were alive. It's a world of slimes now, but who knows what it was before? And if the universe has room for a whole world and its ecosystem changing course, maybe we should accept the same of each other. Geez, talking about the past sure resonates these days. I wonder what profound thoughts I had to share back then. I wonder as well. All right then, so, so far things are going pretty interesting at the least, uh, with the story and the, and the logs and stuff. There's still one more little, why haven't you turned into a full, full size one? I'm not sure. There you go, there's actually two of them. There you go, that fixes it. Well, actually, there's still a couple in here that, that haven't done it. I'm a little surprised by that. Come on. There we go. One of them ought to be Largos. That's just a lot more productive for us. So now they'll start producing some more. We can suck it up, no problem. Awesome, so we're good. We're gonna leave without, actually the puddle slimes, hold on. Don't forget. So where was that? Right over here. There's a couple more ports waiting for me. And then if we can get some more of these guys, that'll just produce even more, which I'm sure we can definitely make the most of. <laughs> this has just been spitting out carrots. That's silly. Okay, we're good. Let's head out this way, and I guess just head to the um, Starlight Strand once I make this little puddle thing. Water canister, whatever it is, you know. Because I think I've found some of the water canister things, like the little excesses of water. So that's all donated into there, and we can make this one. Perfect. So as you can see, this is the water tank. Adds a specialized water vac, or vac tank that allows you to store fresh water. Cool. And there it is, make a splash. A blast of fresh water will calm down any slime for a short while or dissolve those terrible tar slimes. A watered garden crops also grow faster. Gotcha. So I don't think I can just walk up to any source of water, right? I'm not quite sure, but we'll see in a moment. Right now there's more people who wanna to talk to us, so we'll interact with them. Right now it's going to be Thora. OB, glad I was able to catch you. I have some big news to share and this rock isn't exactly bustling with folks who, who, whose ears I can bend. Hobson and I have been thinking a lot about what new adventure is next for us. We've been reading each other's travel journals, trying to find places neither of us have been. But even though we found some, none of them were really calling to us. Maybe things really were finally slowing down for us? Then we got to talking and came to realize that what we love more than anything right now is just being here with one another on my ranch. This ranch is one of the first on the far, far range and we've both learned so much. So we started talking about maybe passing all that on to someone. So Hobson and I decided to start a family, V, and for the first time in so long as I can remember, I'm scared. Hobson and I are both so independent. We don't know the first thing about being parents, let alone raising a kid on the far, far range. But I love that, that old coot and the thought of seeing a little one looking back at me with his eyes makes me smile. I think that alone makes me feel like I'd move a mountain to make this happen. So I've got some work to do here. So much to get in order. Thanks for hearing me out, B. Sometimes just sharing your fears with someone makes you feel like you're no longer alone with these fears. Take care, B. Well, good luck with all of that. I'm, I'm, I believe in you, I'm sure you could do it. That's quite a big task to take on. But I think we are ready for our own tasks here. You know, I think everything is, is set up as we can make, possibly make it for right now. Let's go to the Starlight Strand again so that we can hopefully find some new stuff there. I'm sure we can stumble across something. Oh, okay. I was hopping down here. I, I was setting some stuff up there. And then I popped down here to get some brine and then I saw a cave in here. I didn't know if we would been in here yet, but there's a pod waiting for us. Okay, so let's see what this one has for us. 
power chip, whoa. Use it the fabricator to upgrade the Vax power core. That's a really big upgrade just to stumble across. And I, yeah, I can't believe we found that. That's actually really awesome. So now we're back out here. I can plop some of this stuff back in and we're good to go to Starlight Shred for real this time. <laughs> I can't believe I just stumbled across it, just hanging out right there. Very, very interesting, but here it is waiting for us. Starlight Strand. And I haven't explored this as much as I've been wanting to, so I definitely want to poke around with it as much as we can manage in today's episode. We have a lot of it cleared out, but there's still so much more left to find. So that's definitely something we'll be working on. So hopefully we can find some Hunter Slimes, more Puddle Slimes, and maybe some other stuff too. So I might want to grab some Henna Hens, and wherever we might find some of the Hunter Largos, maybe I could just sort of spit those out and find something. If I can get a Honey Slime as well, we can open up that door. But I guess for right now, it's all about searching around. But can I just suck up this water? Yes, okay. Give it to slime, give your slimes a bath. They really need it. <laughs> okay, so if I see a little slime like this, I can just plop it with water. That's so cool. So that's a really fun thing to mess around with. And hopefully we can use that to make our crops happy, make our puddle slimes happy. It'll definitely be worth our while. So you can see little puddles like this, and I think we can just take more water from them, which is what I was curious about before. So now we know, and that's always good. Yeah, we were already over here. And I do see some more honey stuff. That's always good to have. The bee wax or whatever it is. But around here is also where we found some hunter slimes. And that's where I'm just very curious about a few things. See, this is the Phosphor Hunter Largo. And they're angry. But we haven't found just a hunter. So it makes me think, what if I just, you know, throw out a couple of chickens? You guys don't even want them. You don't want any of the chickens? I guess not. Um, in the meantime, I'll grab some of this. The buzz wax. You guys are still chasing me. Get out of here. <laughs> Maybe I could get up there somehow. There's gotta be some kind of secret to finding them. And I think it's just setting up the little hunter station. So I'll have to do that at some point. But in the meantime, how am I getting into this one? I think I needed the hunter port, which is weird because I thought I had already found it. What do we got here? Here's a hunter port. So let's see if that works this time. I'll wait for this to charge up a little bit. Here come those stars. So let's try this out. Can I? You splash away the tars as much as possible. This is so much better. So much better, so much faster, because they're storming out here. But we can just get rid of them, no problem. Boom, boom, boom. There are so many, though. Oh my goodness. So obviously, I don't think doing this in every situation is the most productive. But you know, you know, you can. And then I'm running out of water. That's how much the tars spread and quickly. Let's grab some more, though. Yeah, I see a couple more tars over this way. Can you guys get out of here, please? And you, was there any more? Not that I see. So yeah, hopefully it stays that way, but I'll just fill up on water a little bit more. It's like this. Oh wait, the door's open now. No, no, it was that door. Yeah, I'm very confused by that. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure I already put the port in there. Guess we'll see in a moment. I'll just hop up there like this. Is there a port inside of this thing? There is. So whatever this door is, it's definitely an exit from something. Because I think the other one opened up this one. With the Phosphor Hunter Largo. They're still popping out and they're still angry. Can I get up this? Ooh, there I go, there I go. And have I been in here? I don't know about this. Wait a minute, there we go. Gotcha, the hunter slime. Never mind the rabbit. Have you seen any chickens? I can't believe it, we're finding hunter slimes now. Okay, I mean, I don't really need too many because I have the Largos, but it's still good to know. Interesting. All right, that's really cool. So I finally found some, I just had to go a little bit farther, I suppose. Anyways, that means I definitely haven't been in this area. I'm going to let this recharge so I can jump and get up here. All right, for this GG log, uh, the giant mushrooms on this island are responsible for maybe the greatest botanical discoveries in my life. Sorry, but it's a secret. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, so definitely let's take a good look around here and see what we can discover then, because we, we found some of the hunter slimes. I'm so happy about that, but I need my jetpack to restore. So let's make some uh, careful jumps if I can manage. I'm sure that, I have a feeling there's some, gonna be some tar popping up in a moment. Very cool area though. I'm really enjoying this part. What about over here? I think we've been down there pretty extensively. Well, maybe not super extensively. We don't have the map. But that's gotta be around somewhere. Haven't seen any additional, I thought that was a slime, it's a bush. 
Whoa, look at you, you're a new type of slime too. I think. Let's try to get over there then and figure that out. Whoa, I'm so curious. Let's grab some of this. Got it, and we're good. These guys are so cute, Phosphor Rock Largos. And some more hunters are around. Kill a little hen, a little chickadoo. Okay, so I feel like we're doing a great job finding stuff so far. Okay, whoa, there's a lot going on over here too. So that looks like proper honey. It is! Okay, so we found wild honey. Tastes great in tea or in shameful handfuls when no one's looking. So now we've been finding both buzzwax and wild honey, and I'll definitely have to store that somewhere, but for right now, oh no, here they come again. Now can I please get up there? I'm not doing a very good job of jumping around. There we go. And then from here, I wanna jump across. Ready, set, go. Hello, so what are you, you're a flutter gordo, and you only eat nectar. So I'm guessing not that, but the wild honey. And I hear her buzzing. There we go, we get some more buzz wax. So maybe there's a way to turn the buzz wax into more honey. These things are so cute. Uh, but what's going on with this, by the way? Uh, can I go inside? No, but that's probably what you do. You break that open, oh my goodness. Okay, good to know. So we have some crazy things to figure out as these tar run amok. Let's get rid of some of those guys. There are so many, so just try to, oh my gosh, they are overflowing. I do not like that. So I am trying to be a little bit more conservative with the water here. Like one little splash at a time. There we go. Oh, I can hit more than one at once if I splash it on the floor like that, gotcha. So I can go like that, get rid of sort of more of them, I think. Hard to tell. Uh, Interesting. Oh, what about over here? Just some more radiant ore, which I have plenty of, I think, for the time being. Could always go and collect more, but there's plenty of spots I can get radiant ore, so not too urgent with that. I'm just trying to find whatever pods might be able to be available to discover, because we still have 19 more of those to find. Huh. I don't know if this is the best way to go about it, but I think I've been down there, at least a little bit. I don't know, this whole area is peculiar. I've seen some uh, hunter, whatever they're called, I always forget what they're called, but I do see a pod over that way. Oh, and some silky sand, I really need that. Silky sand seems to be the rarest one for me. Hunter and angler, that's what it is. Oh, let's grab some more water while we have the chance, just to top that off, you never know. With how these guys, you know, just sort of jump around. So we can get a couple more of those. Seeing a lot more sea hens, which they love a lot. Okay, so yeah, I think we're good to head back up here. But there's also a little area this way, which I feel like I might have explored before. It's, it's hard to say for sure. But, hmm. This area looks a little interesting too. Looks like there's supposed to be more here. Maybe at some point there will be. Oh, oh, don't fall. So I need a rock sign port to get up that way. Which I feel like, you know, wouldn't it be that difficult to find? Whoa, here we go. So let me go find one right now. I just gotta sort of memorize where I am. And that's sort of the thing. I'll get distracted with so many other things in the meantime, but look at all these guys. So I don't really need the hunter ports. I have plenty at home and I'll be growing plenty more. But this one rock port is exactly what I need to get into that door. So going back straight over this way, not getting distracted by anything else, albeit there's plenty of things to find. I can just plop that straight into there and we can open up this mysterious door, at least one of them, you know? Whoa, what do we have in this big cave then? It looks like there could be a lot. And here's an exit, that one I need, what do you know, a hunter port, the ones I just dropped. <laughs> Great, I can make some more though, if I could get some food. I, I need some meat for them, unfortunately, so none of that's gonna work. And I'm just trying to look around for the time being, because I'm sure we'll stumble across some meat somewhere. But I'm not finding any kind of uh, pod just yet. Whoa, okay, this area is interesting. This looks like a dead end. There's at least this little pod, but that doesn't do too much for me. This whole area is caved in. Huh. Okay, well, good to know. But I'm not seeing any kind of 
anything in here, really. Okay, then we'll head out for now. If there's nothing I can find, might as well go get some, some food really quickly. And look who it is. All of you guys. They're jumping right for me, but I can handle them, no problem. We're a pro at it at this point. Ooh, there's some more water to grab. I so need. Which, I, I guess I didn't need a ton of it, but... Still. Okay, so now I'm looking to get... Well, if I could, my hunter ports are probably still out here somewhere, right? Just sitting on the floor. Maybe I should just soak those up really quickly. Where would they have been? Oh, those are probably what we're making some more of these... Uh, tar, so they might be gone now. <laughs> Whoops. But I heard some chicken somewhere. Up here, maybe? Let's hope. Come on, little chickens, where are you? Can you guys get out of here? Okay, here's a little... Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff so I can just launch it away. I can throw out a hunter slime. The hunter slime can eat this hen hen. Please, please eat the hen hen. I know you want to. Come on. Don't be, don't be feisty with it, just... Eat your food. There you go, come on, please, please, please. Don't go to me, are you not hungry? One of you has to be hungry. Neither of you are hungry? <laughs> this is so silly. Come on, where'd it go? Right here, gobble it up, there you go. See, that's all I wanted, I think I did it too soon. Whoops, oh no. Will they pop it out now? I don't think they will. Okay, this is silly, we'll save it for some other time. We got other stuff to explore. Get some more of the honey slimes, which is always great to see. And I have plenty of them back at home, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out this area is always good. Oh, get another ringtail slime if I wanted to. That is a little tempting. I'll save it for now. There was the honey I found before. If I could find more honey like that, that'd be actually really helpful. Puddle slimes, now you guys I need more of. So glad to get that. I see a couple more popping out right over here, right? I think I did, guess not. Um, I have two of them though. Two of them is not too bad. Okay, so we'll have to double check that that little pond later on. But two more puddle slimes added to the collection. I'm not not gonna complain about that with how uncommon they seem to be so far. Plenty of other slimes jumping around, having a good time. Boom! Break that open. I'm not finding too much around here that we haven't seen in other spots. Oh, here's some more puddle slimes that I will gladly grab wherever I can find them. So we're up to five. Here's six. So I just want a puddle overflowing with them. This doesn't seem like they get in too much trouble, to be honest with you. And I do see some stuff up there I think I'll fly over to in just a moment. But I might as well check out to see if this is a dead end. So it doesn't look like this little ringtail slime once again waiting for us. Just enjoying their day. Aha, here, these guys I really wanted to see, but now my inventory is full. So I think I'm gonna send out the hunter slimes and check out the flutter slimes. Like snowflakes, each pair of wings are unique and just as delicate. That is so cool. So I wanna get as many of these as I can. You don't seem hungry, but, or happy, probably because you're hungry, but I'm gonna leave in. But that's very cool that we found flutter slimes too. There's so much to discover, it's crazy. Wow. Okay, so. I think I might have just spotted something interesting over there. We'll go check it out in just a moment, but for right now more flutter, flutter slimes will be good. What about over this way? I just see some more radiant ore that I don't need too much. There's so many slimes. Oh my goodness. You, this is definitely a Gordo, but I'll have to come during the nighttime for the ringtail slime. That is so neat. So I'll throw up a ton of food and really make sure that I get all these Gordos satisfied, but oh no, you guys again. Here we go. I dealt with that one. I don't see any others running around for the time being. What's up here? I just keep finding more and more stuff. I mean to turn around, but I'm not sure what is down that way. It doesn't look like anything good, but do I want to risk it? I don't think so. Huh. There could certainly be stuff over there too. And I think I see something up that way. Not anything else, it's a good vantage point. Oh no, can I make it though, can I make it? No, of course I can't, of course I can't. <laughs> Jeez, come on. Get some more mint mangoes, which I have plenty of back at home as well. So I'm just trying to be very careful about everything and not fall to my doom with all this good stuff that we've gotten in this little adventure, but I think it might be time to turn back home soon enough. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. 
and we'll take one extra look around. Because it just keeps going and going. And there's gotta be some maps somewhere. Another puddle slime. I think we'll be good with seven of them. Oh, hey, another GG log. Uh, I used to start my mornings with a jog along this path. It felt so great to feel the sea breeze as I'd make my way to the hollow trees ahead. Sometimes I would even come back at the end of my day and watch the sunset. But I also think this is where I got robbed by a ringtail slime. <laughs> oh no, gotta be careful of that then. Ooh, here we go, some more of the dripping honey. So that is going to be super duper important. Oh no, that's more buzzwax. I thought it was the other kind, Never mind. But it's still important to have. Maybe not as important, but still important. Where did it go? There it is. And there's a, another cave in there that I don't think I've been into. I'll have to be really careful with making my traversal over. But is that something I wanna focus on right now? Sure, because we'll try to make our way back with that. I don't trust it actually. I don't I don't like the, the odds of that. I'll have to find another way around it because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't wanna risk it. Hmm. So now we're back over where we were before, which is good. That means I've sort of figured a lot of things out. Haven't found the map though. Gotta wait for my energy to restore before I try to make these jumps. There we go. It's gotta be around somewhere. I've very likely just missed it because I was looking ahead instead of to, you know, to the sky, which is usually where they are. They're usually elevated. Because there's another, or was that the opening I was looking at before? I think it is. So since there is like deposits of honey around here, that that's the only place I've seen them. And we are pretty far out from our original spot. Now might be a good spot to try to set up some other things if we wanted to. Is there anything up here? I mean, I think I've been over this way before, right? Maybe? Hard to tell, hard to tell. I think I was. So this seems like it's going to be an important area. Maybe I could set up one of my gadgets up here. If there's a spot for it, there actually might not be. There's one over here though, so we'll do this. We'll set it up right here, activate, and we'll do one of these refinery lights. Very cool. So now I can put some stuff into this and not have to worry about it as much. So put some of that in, and then some of this, and some of that, and there we go. That's really, really good. I will have to feed this one some nectar soon enough, but I wanna save it for now, I think. There's gotta be a better way to get more nectar though. Like I, I'd have to imagine. Either way, I do spot some more buzz wax over this way. So I'm going to try to just very lightly tap my jetpack so that I can get onto this tree and then get this. And then that area before I was saying I wanted to get over to just in case there's something. So once the energy restores, we'll jump a couple more times. So right now that map, wherever it is, is a mystery. Here it is. Awesome, okay, well look at this. So much more of it is cleared out and it looks like that might be the end of the area for now. I don't see how we get past this giant mountain. Even if we did, like what is beyond it? It didn't look like there really was anything. So I say as I see these mysterious, do I go down here? What is this? Whoa, what is this? I don't know, it might not lead to anything, but there is a pod, okay. And this has a spring pad. Blueprint acquired launches anything that touches it straight into the air. That could be great for getting around. And I guess that's everything in here. Interesting. Very, very interesting. How do I get back up? I guess from here, I can hear the tar coming. And then I can just get over like that. Very scary noises. But that was a cool one to find for sure. So I think that that might be where we'll finish it off for this area for now, because we've, we've done some great deals of progress. The tar are coming down, they're gonna cause problems for us too. So I don't wanna deal with that too much. We got a lot of stuff though, and I wanna bring it home. If there's maybe one more thing I would like to do in today's episode is I, I think I know what I wanna combine this with. I don't know if we'll go and get that today though. I might go get that another time. Okay, so we finally made the back here. I should just be able to plop in a couple of those and just head home. So yeah, at the least we'll set things up with this. I need to read into how the uh, flutter slimes really work and make sure that they have the proper enclosure. But I think I wanna combine them with fire slimes that we'll go and collect in the next episode. I had some last episode, but I didn't have the inventory space to actually bring them home. So I think this time around, we'll try to focus on that, but, or next time around. But yeah, I think that that'd be a cool combo because I just don't know what that would look like, the flutter slimes with the fire, but I feel like it would look really cool. So I think that'd be a fun combo to figure out. In the meantime though, we can make the puddle slimes really uh, plentiful so we can get a lot of puddle ports. So that would make me really happy because then we'll be making great progress towards other things we've been wanting to earn up. But this uh, 
water tank thing has been so useful. I'm happy that we were able to get that. So I got plenty of things I need to do back at home now to prepare for everything too. Like we have plenty of plants waiting for us, fruit and stuff. So I'll, I'll grab some of this too, just to make sure everybody is happy, healthy and fed. So it really looks like I was gone for a little too long this time. A lot of my feeders have been totally emptied out. So I really need to keep that in mind and maybe not go as far next time or really make sure everybody is taken care of before I do. Because unfortunately, yeah, they were, a lot of them were very hungry. So I'm just trying to make sure that now everybody gets topped off a little bit, that their feeders are back to a, a stable level. I need to set up another return thing. I know I just set it up back at the other place, but I need to get another one and set it up here. We'll have to set up another gadget here so that we can send our reports back a lot easier. I think I'll do that next because I don't make things really fast. Okay, so I did want to try this. I don't know if this works now that uh, we have the sprinklers, but I wonder if this really will make the plants grow faster. It, it's obviously sort of hard to tell if that's really doing anything because the sprinklers are already doing their thing. I don't think that would change anything, but it, it's good to keep in mind. See, I want to see going down this way, there's a couple more things I want to figure out. First off with, um, what is it? This right here. Can I make any more? I can make one more. I'll have to get more jelly stone again. So our jelly stone run is already <laughs> proving to be not enough, but more silky sand is needed. Uh, more of this stuff. I got three out of the five wild honey. I need to find a way to get more wild honey. That was the only one that I found, which was great, but just not enough. Okay, so heading back up this way, let's check out these slimes on this side because I just haven't had the time to sort of poke in on them yet. So I'll just run over really quickly and hopefully they're doing okay. They're, they're handling things, right? So far, but they definitely need some more food, which luckily we have plenty waiting for us over here now, a whole, whole troop of them. So I'll grab as many as I can and really just set them up with it. So keep the briar chicks in here, of course, and same thing with the roostros. So send all them out, and same thing with those. Uh, are there any elders I can maybe scoop up too? Oh, yeah, here are some elders, so I'll grab some of them. I don't have the inventory space for the elder roostros, gotcha. Okay, so first things first. Uh, send that one back over, I guess. But I'm sure you guys are hungry, so we'll, we'll toss over a couple now, and then I will do a bit of this. Well, they're exploded, but it's a good explosion. They're happy, they're happy. So we'll make a lot more of those ports from all that. And that's our favorite kind, so they should be making a lot. Um, but we do have this flutter slime, and we'll try to figure that out soon. For now, it's on that chicken over there. And I guess, yeah, we'll get the flutter slimes in here. I just wanna read about them to be extra sure I know what's going on before I do that. And look at all these puddle slimes producing. I like it, we got a lot more friends for them too. Which is great, because they're shy. They only make ports when there's a lot around. So having a lot in here, I think that'd be pretty good. They seem happy about it. And if I want to, I could even just, uh, hold on, I put them back in the water. Don't want them to fall out, but we could play with them a little, right? We could splash them with water like that. Where are you going, where are you going? Water's over here, silly. The water's fine. I don't know, I keep pressing the wrong button and then they fly everywhere, oh my goodness. Here we go. I love their little mouths too. There we go. Send out some water for them if they like that. We got 13 water ports now, that's great. And I can activate this and put it right here. Very nice. So I can just sort of plop down some stuff wherever we need it, whenever we need it. And I need another one on the other side, I just remembered. So back and forth with those is pretty important, but right now I got this figured out. So got those puddle ports there. None of you should be hungry, right? Um, It'll it'll happen when it happens. I don't think any of them are absolutely starving. But I'll grab some of this stuff, no problem. Because this is stuff I need a lot of. But so far I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made in today's episode, with what we explored. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll toss this stuff in and then we'll look at our flutter slime. I understand more about that. We'll read up on also the uh, hunter slime now that we actually got the Slimepedia entry for that. That's gonna be really interesting. But let's get the flutter slime in here. They mostly, they only eat nectar is the problem. So wait a minute, before I put them in, they only eat nectar. I need to find something to combine them with because the nectar seems to be really hard to get. There must be some other way to farm up nectar. So for right now, let's, let's actually take a look at our Slimepedia. Slimepedia, slimes, Here's the ringtail, the hunter. So the hunter slime is the wild cousin of the tabby slime, 
a much more capable creature than the playful tabbies, the hunter slime excels at stalking the chickens from the far, far range, and it loves the roost drown. Um, a hunter slime's slimeological makeup allows for natural cloaking ability that renders it almost completely invisible. Their only tell is their giant almo al almond eyes, which can often be seen hovering in the dark. This effect is often described by unsuspecting ranchers as, ah! A hunter slime has keen senses and can detect its prey from great distances. This makes finding a good location for the crowds challenging. Additionally, the wild nature of the hunter is also passed on to any Largos formed, uh, formed from its ports or from its ports. A newly created hunter Largo will always be feral. A prepared rancher knows that breeding hunter Largos should always be done slowly, with a few chickens on hand to calm them down. Amazingly, a serum can be made from hunter slime ports that can actually render a person invisible. The effect only lasts for about a day, but this serum is nonetheless incredibly popular back on Earth, as many people find its effects very soothing. Sometimes you feel like you just want to disappear for a while, but then about a day goes by and you realize that not only did you miss being seen, but others miss seeing you too. Aww. <laughs> okay, so we're not quite done. There's still some more. Um, I haven't heard about the lucky slime too much. Where is the, did I pass the flutter slime? I must have, I must have. Yep, right here, flutter slime. Flutter slimes feel truly at home on Rainbow Island, curiously flying about the prismatic flora, a shining example of natural beauty in an already beautiful world. Their beauty, however, requires a very specific regimen to maintain, as flutter slimes have a unique diet where they will only eat the sweet but fleeting moondew nectar that grows in the wilds of Rainbow Island. Moondew nectar. I haven't even seen that. So that, I thought the nectar was like the honey. No, what is this moon moon dew nectar? I haven't even seen it. However, you should manage to go through, should you manage to go through the trouble of collecting moon dew nectar and keep your flutter slimes well fed, they will reward you with the soothing aura they produce after eating it that reduces all nearby slime agitation. Uh, it also has pretty sparkles. <laughs> Flo flutter slimes have an innate curiosity that causes them to fly to nearby objects and creatures. And since they have some of the most powerful flight capabilities of all slimes, they'll soon make you appreciate the glass walls and roof of the conservatory. Still, given their restrictive diets and soothing auras, a flutter slime just might be the kind of slime you want roaming free on your ranch. Interesting. So you, there are slimes that maybe would be better just roaming free, but I don't know. I think that wouldn't be as productive, wouldn't it? Either way, we do have the this slime, which also it's very weird when it comes to what it eats, the, the fire slime. Fire slimes are a rare breed of slime that live on ash. Fire slimes will eat just about any food, but not without being being burned into an ash first. Got you. The only way the, to feed a fire slime is to use an incinerator with an ash trough upgrade. Fire slimes need ash to survive and will quickly snuff out if left on any other surface for too long. Gotcha. When keeping fire slimes in an ash trough, simply burn any food item to reduce some ash and fill the trough. So actually, I, I don't know if I'd be able to combine them. They're sort of like the puddle slimes in that way. I don't know if I'd be able to combine them too much with the uh, the flutter slimes. So what could I combine with the flutter slimes? I'm not really sure. So we already have, you know, bloom ringtails. Uh, we have honey hunters. We have crystal um, baddies. There's one type of slime we have yet to find though. So once we find that, maybe that'll be the answer of what we can combine it with. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, we could just try to make sure it gets fed so that we can, um, you know, do some stuff there. And there's still like plenty more areas to open up is the thing that gets really confusing. So I hope that they do add more slime soon, but I need to find out where this nectar comes from for a number of reasons, not only for these guys, but for the Largo we found before. So there's definitely things we need to figure out in that way and hopefully we can do so soon. So I'm just sort of topping off a couple of things here. I don't really know there's too much more I want to do in today's episode. We did a lot of exploring with um, the uh, Starlight Strand, and I really enjoyed that. There was just a lot to experience there. How are we doing with honey? I need to drop off 20 more of those. But beyond that, you know, I think that right now we just got to focus on expanding our ranch a little bit more, upgrading some things. It looks like if I want to make the fire slimes work, I'm going to have to make a, a incinerator with a trough. I might just want to find a new area for that, so maybe next episode we'll open up this area back here finally. I think that might be a good spot to do it in. Um, we'll have to wait and see for sure, but for right now I think 
We need to get more, you know, slimy, slimy rocks and stuff. There's just so much to do. It, it can be overwhelming and exciting at the same time, but we'll just try try our best to stay on top of it so we can make lots of money and experience plenty of other things. I do start to wonder how much more content there is left in the game in its current, like, current state. Of course, like I've said many times before, this game is currently early access, so it's, it's not fully developed and finished just yet. But as you can see, we're just going to fill this up. Same thing with this one go doing pretty good so i might just grab some more of this stuff and really top off everything to finish off today's episode and we'll sort of see how that goes from there as you can see i'm getting a lot more of it so it takes a while to get through and i think i'll be finished up there so we sold a bunch of stuff it actually turned out pretty well that we we have over twenty five thousand dollars now so that's really good we have lots of money and it looks like uh ogden wants to talk to us again Hey Amiga, I got you a little gift. It's not homemade, and it's not pie, and it's not homemade pie. But I thought you would like it all the same. Shame about the pie though. We got some amber shrubs. Very cool. Thank you so much, Ogden. So I think that's where we're gonna keep it for now. Next episode, I will have to go out and get more of the slime stone. But on top of that, we will have to get some fire slimes and figure out how to preserve them, as well as just whatever else I guess we can stumble upon. As you can see, we're really getting to the point where it seems like we've gotten every type of slime. Um, I think the only thing we need to find here is the fire, we have the flutter, and then the gold ones we need to sort of figure out how to catch them, if that's even possible. I don't think it's possible to catch them, but we can at the least get maybe some of their ports. I don't know if we would sell it or not, if we want to keep it as a little novelty. We'll have to wait and see, but for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Slime Rancher 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.